Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Worlds. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's go into the edge water, not black water. Or oh, I'm I will call it black water at some point. Nearly because my memory is of mash. Okay, and I'll try cutting out most of the loading screens as possible. Okay, and I think drone main quest no, I want this one first. How the hell oh thank you. <laughs> Double click. So first one in here. Please stop. No, this is all new but just some hello. Hi. <laughs> Is that a marauder's outfit? Yes. What you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse? Oh, come on. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Eh. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. That's not true. <laughs> uh, I can show you my hands <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. What? No. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Hair. Okay. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Okay. On, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Wait, so you're both hairdresser and coroner, Linda? Mm, Silas sent me. Ah, gravesite fees. Yes. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Too many words. <laughs> you mean you broke? Okay. Broke pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Mm. That's some quality drama. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Okay, just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I have no idea. I'll let you know if I know if I think of anything. Much obliged. What the hell is I O I O U? Well, I didn't touch anything. Okay, we'll ba go back to Silas in a second. Hello. I'm fine, Mister. Never been healthier. You're not healthy at all, are you? Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my dumb. Okay, we'll have to change our clothes. Hey, take it easy. I'm not <laughs> still from him. Did like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Mm. You tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You're ill. Hidden San What are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. Oh, you're smart as aren't you? You're Abernathy? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Okay, I'm just here to collect your debt. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he said you. That's why he wants me to pay up. You know. He knows nothing. Sounds like he 
He's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. What? It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Mm, you're being paranoid. I'm sure it's all very tragic, you know. Thank you. From Silas, but if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. What do you want? Um, the best what else you need? Hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. Okay. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Mm hmm. Okay, but first of all, some I have need you to ask something. Why can't you just buy some medicine? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Okay. The company won't treat you because you're already sick. Like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Because you're already sick. Uh, I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Okay. Otters, on the other hand. Ah, uh, right. What can you tell me about them? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Okay, so crouching it is. Thank you. Do it then? Yeah, I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Okay, you don't use on hypochondria. I can know that. Anything I should know about the community center? down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Probably. I for risk trusting, you know. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Well, um, would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Hmm. Okay. See you later. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Yes. Who are you? Why are your hair screen? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Well, I am. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Uh, he's got symptoms of something. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about right. that. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. You're gonna spam me for the much trouble. Need someone to smuggle the medicine under the table. Okay, can you match his offer first of all? Giving you, I will do you one better. Okay, I'll think about that. That's all I can ask of you. Yeah, and where's somewhere there? Our last person. That okay, am I supposed to get out of here then? Wait, inside. Okay. Hello. God, the door's open. God damn it. Okay. Edge water sold to a cannery. A space trust property. Logs. The edge water sold in a canning facility strictly adheres to space of choice standards of health and safety. Schedule your sick leave with your space of choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate toward other members of the special choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your schedule, schedule sick leave. 
Last hours, lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Really? Don't do things like that. Okay, that's all I guess. Hello? Anyone here? 8 meters. Up there? Okay. Whoa. Hello. Trooper. Oh, right. I was supposed to. Nope. Just while we are in here. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. And um, no. I'm guessing you're the former. Okay, if I'm supposed to be quick, go ahead, side's face. I was still on about that. Yep. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Sure. Those papers aren't signed your name, though. Not my fees and not my grave site. Okay. The guy I worked with shot himself. I oh. Why? You have to pay for a neighbor's grave site fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. He shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Hmm. That must be tough, losing family. Eugene wasn't family. What? I said you said you were his closest living relative. Relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Oh. I'm the one who found him, you see. So I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Okay. Uh, but. You can be really serious about that. Serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to space. Okay. Space. He was a person, though. Well, excuse you. I'll I don't you know. know. Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. Oh. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Okay. Which means he was for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. Okay. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Okay, I'll let you go with back to work then. This place is bonkers. Oh, can I touch your computer's What? there? Any papers I can read? I guess I can't read anything that's not on a computer. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> oh, there you are. It would result on your com Okay. Found one left hand se severed at the wrist, some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety on machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Damn, oh, not that. Ooh, vending machine discovered, okay. Can I close? Is it still still in here? Give me that. Oh, I'm not really st gonna stay. Oh, what's that? A pretty knuckle if you are into that sort of thing. Hmm. I, can, I guess I can sell it. Weapon parts give me that. 
Oh my god, really? Give me all of that. <laughs> okay, let's see, vending machine. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough. Okay. I can sell? Yes, I can. Thank you. So, I'm gonna sell this junk, right? Hold Z. Thank you. Okay, everything. Can I? Okay, I cannot mark anything as junk. Consumables. Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top. Okay. Increase the medical skill down with more drug mixing slot that can hold all types of consumables. But, uh, okay, 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 I get it. Okay, mm, alcohol. Personally, okay, I'll junk that. Fish sticks. Uh, base health last two minutes. Um, plus two hundred percent natural health regeneration last two minutes. Last two minutes. Last two minutes and adreno. Okay, so I'll add this one here. Hey guys. Okay, where the hell? Oh, okay, it's somewhere there, so I need to get out of here anyway. Because I don't see any other way out. I didn't steal anything, you didn't see me, and so I didn't do it. Wait, what? What's that? No, there's something. My compass, I don't know what this Emerald Veil Legion. Like, region, god damn it. Oh my, I see an enemy. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to go? Somewhere there? Well, put the... Can I see map or something? A small grave matter, a small grave matter, a small grave matter. God damn it, where the hell am I? Ooh. Player location. Where am I? <laughs> Okay, I'm. I think I'm on the. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so we'll just run towards Silas. Okay, so I, I will. Sp oh, those are graves. Okay, okay. Wait, do you have zombies or are those against marauders? Hold up. Lifetime net value 8112 bits. Nice, I guess. Hello, can we talk? Fancy threads. That's some kind of hibernation. God damn it, one's worse than the other. About those fees. Any trouble? Kinda, Connor says he cannot afford to pay. Barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Okay. Find some dirt on him. Maybe you can check his back room. Alright, are you serious an extortion? That's the word extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. You're welcome. Oh, so come to this. We're supposed to go somewhere there to meet Ludwig Miller. I don't know what's with the other marker then. Oh, Conrad, I've got something. Oh, I nearly got something on you. Give me a second. Oh, what? Well, Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset, and somebody has to pay for his to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his thief. 
Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Her wounds passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the thief somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back, in fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special sig signal next time you see me. Woggle, <laughs> woggle your eyebrows. Feel this G. This is the scientist. Interesting. Okay, you've got some explaining to do. What can I do for you? Uh, I know about the gene, it's only because of some of training and all thing. Okay. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yes, you are. Only if you to turn doctor loosely. So, okay, so you pre prepare cups of burial. Back, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility. Alive or or otherwise. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Okay, I know about Eugene. You know about Eugene? How? I've just checked your back room. Um, I found a note. <laughs> you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold. Yes. Stuff. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Mm, I'm sure he will miss it. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I guess you can. You're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay, thank you. I'm told to even kill himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. Okay. I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Okay, goodbye. And I would like to say goodbye to you as well, because once again I have no idea which way to go to meet with the other guy. So for now, thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon.